Hi there. I'm Ian Dilly with Flow Bikes. Today at the Giro de Flow Bikes, we will be riding stage 14 of the Giro d'Italia, a 140 kilometer stage that takes in three major mountain passes. We will be riding the two final passes, the category one Col San Carlo, as well as the ascent to the Cormier Skyway, also known as Mont Blanc, the famous mountain that um, spans the border between France and Italy. We're gonna go check them out and talk about it in our show. Probably make a little video about it for the daily vlog. Oh, great. He's, uh, Said he was feeling a little sore after yesterday. Snow. He'll just take your hamstring out and then <laughs> you don't have a problem anymore. <laughs> Rosola Reale. I know, I, I've got stuck saying uh, Cesare. Yeah, Cesare, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, it's pretty Roman. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna be sponsoring correct today. I'll be wearing a specialized helmet. Chad Brown is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> because I forgot my helmet. Sheehan, that's quite a look you got going on today. Oh, this whole thing. <laughs> Gotta have the Burks. Now that I know that Birkenstocks are coming back. Well, if Ian gets Birkenstocks, they're going to be not cool again, so I'm going to have to find some more shoes. <laughs> Sandals with socks? You didn't bring your shoes? Not even the Germans do that. Mamma mia. I'm going to have to get on a no, bike. No, that's cool again. It's cool Whoa, again. Yeah, again. Socks with the yeah, sandals? Yeah, nowadays it's so cool again. You're drinking every day. We've been on the road three weeks. Michael hasn't had a single coffee <laughs> Every meal. Coffee? <laughs> it's not every meal, it's every time we get out of the van, every time we get into a restaurant. <laughs> Quick coffee? <laughs> okay. You are One hour the, later, quick you coffee. You are the opposite of a cyclist. <laughs> he doesn't drink coffee, he wears sandals with socks. <sighs> What's wrong with you? We'll, we'll, we'll see Recording how the opposite of the cyclist I am when we get going up this mountain. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, I don't think I should change this thing. According to you. Well, you actually do. After yesterday, I think uh, I need a, a more efficient gear. Uh, gearing, actually. 34, so, 34. I would use my so proper climbing gear. the back are going to help him. Okay, go have your coffees. And then, uh, you know, the challenge is on. Michael is actually now upset with me because I told him that he can't His wear socks. His name is Michael. He's not Michael anymore. Michael. <laughs> Let's go for a coffee, Michael. <laughs> Great. Let's go. I'll, I'll watch again. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, Shiana is doing intervals, literally riding circles around us. <laughs> oh, we can make it into the cutoff time. <laughs> They're on an easy day. I don't know what's going on. No easy days of flow.
So right when you're starting this climb painted on the road is the record to the top set by Ivan Basso uh, just under 34 minutes. I think it was like 33 minutes and 54 seconds, which he set at the 2008 Giro d'Italia, I believe, also known as the fastest Giro in history. And then Operation Puerto broke shortly after, um, which was a scandal involving Dr. Fuentes and the storage of blood bags, including one that was codenamed <laughs> Burillo, which was the name of Ivan Basso's dog. Wait, he was doping his dog? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how fast his dog went up this climb. <laughs> but we've met Ivan Basso, a really nice guy, and he is around the Giro. Um, yeah, different era, I guess, as they say in Italy. 10 kilometers long, 10% average gradient, and 1,000 meters. It uh, is not the most enjoyable climb to ride up. There are no variations in gradient. It is just like 12% gradient the entire time, and then occasionally dips to 8% for like a few hundred meters, and then goes up again. It is ridiculously hard. I think probably one of, I would rank it like with the Mortarola is one of the hardest climbs I've done. It was tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to, like, it'll be crazy for guys that are just trying to make the time cut, because this is the th third climb of three major climbs in a row. There's 14 kilometers of flat in total in the 140 kilometer stage, 14. And yeah, just to get to the top, you're doing, or I was doing like 250 to 300 watts for an hour, just to get, to, just to make it to the top in your easiest gear, so. I can only imagine what uh, the domestiques are gonna have to do tomorrow just to make the time cut. So we are drinking uh, a local uh, uh, well, drink here in, uh, in Valle d'Aosta, Piedmont, Lombardia. We call it Panache and it's uh, a mix of beer and uh, uh, can be Sprite, Lemonade or uh, Fanta. So depending on where you are in the north of Italy, you have different names. Like on the Dolomites, you do it with Fanta. And you call it Radler. Sounds German. Radler. When you are in uh, my region or uh, Piedmont, well, you usually do it with uh, what? Opa. <clears throat> I thought this was lemonade. But this is tea. <laughs> that was a bad mistake. You don't do this and this. All right. <laughs> Got it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was like a uh, lemon. I didn't even see tea. Ah, uh, beer and ten. Oh, let me see. I can just keep going. Oh, Andrea, this, I think this is the second time this trip that a stranger has picked Ian's bike over yours. <laughs> so, I didn't see that happen, really. Your, his own son actually picked my bike. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> that did happen. Wait, wait a second. The guy <laughs> took a picture of my bike first. Then he felt the pressure, so he had to take the picture of your bike as well. When he says the guy, he means the eight-year-old boy, yeah. who Andrea then started harassing. Hey, he you like the Italian him. bike better, of course, right? <laughs> I think he got confused then. At that point, he got confused. Uh, you know, but yeah. I can go and talk to him. Yeah, we might need to do an online poll. All right, we'll post a quick clip next that showcases Andrea's bike and Ian's bike. Leave a comment on the video and let us know which bike you think is better. <laughs> Thank you.
It's a massive hornet. First he's in this window. Tried to shut him in, but he got out in the last second. Now he's angry. <laughs> so this is you watch it. You'll be fried by this. <laughs> you are so cruel. And look at you. You like a baby. Mamma mia. We are upgrading the drinks for today's show. Michael's going full wine glass for the shoot. Behind the scenes look, I didn't actually drink the sprints yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What's your new rule? You, you only drink things that you're interested in? Yeah. <laughs> Although that's falling down a little bit. Uh, just a hey, random glass of red wine. Any red wine will do. Something somewhat nice. <laughs>